Good morning to everyone out there watching, parents and students and uh, anyone in the classroom right now who is watching the Spelling Bee. Welcome to the 2022 Hadley All School Spelling Bee. Woohoo! Big round of applause. So to get to this stage, these fine spellers competed in a grade level B and the winner of that B and the runner up is now here to compete for the school spelling bee championship. The winner will move on to the district level where they can compete for a chance to go on to state and then maybe to Washington DC for the national championship. It is a big, um, you know, these students have done a great job to get to this point, and let me introduce them. So we have Rahim. Congratulations, Rahim. Simon. Yahya. Nicholas. Amana. And Happy Chisty. <laughs> so, just a little bit about the rules. They are the same rules as last time, spellers. Uh, you will hear the word from Miss Connell, and thank you, Miss Connell, for being our excellent pronouncer. That's a very important job. Round of applause. <laughs> she will say the word, and we recommend that you say the word, spell the word, and then say the word again. That way we know for sure that you are done spelling. And then we will tell you if you are correct or incorrect. Okay? If you are incorrect, you can just have a seat up here since it's a small group. And we'll just continue on. You can, as you know, spellers, ask Miss Connell some questions once you hear the word. You can have it uh, be used in a sentence. You can ask Miss Connell for the definition. You can ask her for the language of origin, and you can ask her to repeat it if necessary. Yes, Simon. So you do not need to worry about spaces. You don't need to say uh, if there's a space. You don't need to say an apostrophe. Uh, you don't need to capitalize it if it's a proper noun. So basically, no punctuation and no um, capitalization necessary, and, not, and no accents either. Okay. Any other questions before we begin? Yes. Yes, you can restart. Just make sure you go in the same order that you had already said. Okay. Yes. Yes, you may. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, without further ado, we will get started. So this word has a homonym. Your word is weird. This is an adjective, and it means curious in nature or appearance of strange or extraordinary character, odd, unusual. Your word is weird. I Your word is lavished. Lavished. Can I have the definition? Expended or bestowed with profusion, used with fragility, squandered, lavished. Lavished. L A V I S H E D. Lavished. Your word is cobblestone. Cobblestone. C O B B L E S T O N. -E. Cobblestone. Yeah. Your word is scrawny. 
Astrani. S E R N Y. This word has a homonym. Your word is mutual. It is an adjective and it means shared in common, enjoyed by each common. Your word is mutual. Mutual. M U T U A L. Your word is Neptune. Did I get a definition? The planet eighth in order from the sun, used in astronomy. Neptune. Neptune. N E P T U N E. Neptune. Your word is alibi. The plea of having been elsewhere at the time an act was committed. Alibi. Alibi. A L I B I. Alibi. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is invasions. It is a plural noun, and it means hostile entrances or armed attacks on the property or territory of another for conquest or plunder. Your word is invasions. Invasions. I-N-V-A-S-I-O-N-S. -S. Invasions. Your word is adorned. Adorned. A D O R N E D. Adorned. Your word is telescope. T E L E S C O P E. Your word is surrounded. Surrounded. S U R R O D N E D. Your word is Juneteenth. Juneteenth. J U N E T. E N T H Juneteenth. Your word is sardine. No. S A R D I N E. Your word is orientation. Orientation. Can I have the definition? The act of determining one's bearings or settling one's sense of direction. Orientation. Orientation. O R I E N T A. E-I-O-N, orientation. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is decimal. It is an adjective, and it means subdivided into tenth or one hundredth units. Your word is decimal. Decimal. E-E-C-I-M-A-L, decimal.
This word has a homonym. Your word is conquers. It is a plural noun, and it means a game popular in England in which each player swings a horse chestnut or originally a snail shell threaded on a string to try to break one held by an opponent. Your word is conquers. E-O-N-K-E-R-S. Your word is dingoes. Dingoes. I-N-G-O-E-S. Your word is archduke. Archduke. A-R-C-H-D-U-K-E. Archduke. successfully completed three rounds. You guys are doing an awesome job. Hopefully the nerves have settled down a little bit and you can focus in on the words. So we are now in round four. And make sure you say the word at the end, okay? Because that does help us. So yeah, okay. Your word is novice. One who has no previous training or experience in a specific field or activity. Beginner. Your word is novice. This word has an homonym. Your word is symbol. It is a noun and it is a visible sign of something such as a concept or an institution that is invisible. Your word is symbol. Can I have it in a sentence? The image of a dove is often used as a symbol of peace. Symbol, S-Y-M-B-O-L, symbol. Your word is expanse. Expanse, E X E. A N S E, expanse. Your word is preened. Ebba's cat curled up on the couch and preened its fur before settling in for a nap. Preened. Preen. R. N-E-D. Your word is waddles. Materials as rods, branches, and reeds used for building construction. Waddles. Waddles. W A. Your word is emitting. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Hannah's much needed sleep was interrupted by her cat emitting a mournful cry. Emitting. Emitting. E M I T T I N G. Emitting. Your word is granules. R A This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is contorted. It is a verb and it means twisted or twisted together, especially in a strained or violent manner, bent. Your word is contorted. Contorted. C O N T O R E D. Contorted.
Okay, Nicholas, your word is invigorating. Invigorating? I-N-V-I-G-O-R-A-T-I-N-G, invigorating. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is contraption. It is a noun, and it means a newfangled or complicated device, usually used in mild scorn or indulgence. Your word is contraption. Contraption. C-O-N-T-R-A-P. T-I-O-N, contraption. Your word is radiation. Radiation. R-A-D-I-T-I-O-N. This word is a homonym. Your word is reeked. It is a verb, and it means brought about harm, caused, inflicted. Your word is reeked. Could you use it in a sentence? The monsoon rains wreaked havoc on the farmer's fields. Thank you. Um, reeked. W-R-E-A-K-E-D. Reeked. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is tartan. It is a noun and it means a twilled woolen fabric with a plaid textile design of Scottish origin consisting of stripes of varying width and color against a solid ground. Your word is tartan. Tartan. T-A-R-T-A-N. Tartan. Your word is technique. Technique. Can I have the definition? The manner in which a musician, dancer, or athlete uses basic physical movements in performance. Your word is technique. Technique. T-E-C-H-N-I-Q-U-E. -E. Technique. Your word is dutifully. Dutifully. D U T. I F U L L Y dutifully. Your word is mournful. May I have the word in a sentence? Ivan the dog made a mournful little noise when his human refused to share the last bit of steak. Your word is mournful. Mournful. M O U R N F U L mournful. Your word is emboldened. Could you give me a definition? Imparted courage to, instilled with bravery or resolution enough to overcome timidity, or misgiving. Your word is emboldened. Uh, could you repeat the word? Emboldened. Emboldened. E-M-B-O-L-D-E-N-E-D. -E -E emboldened. Your word is contessa. Contessa, C-O-N-T-E-S-S-A, -S -S Contessa. 
Your word is sustenance. Sustenance. Can I have it in a sentence? Before the Great Famine, many people in Ireland relied on the potato as their main source of sustenance. Sustenance. Uh, can I have the definition? Food, refreshments, sustenance. Sustenance. S U S T E N A N C E. Sustenance. Your word is professional. Professional. P R O F E S S I O N A L. Professional. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is columns. It is a plural noun and it means vertical arrangements of items printed uh, or written on a page or otherwise inscribed vertical lists. Your word is columns. Column. C O L U M N S. Column. Your word is renowned. Renowned. R E N O W N E D. Renowned. Your word is corridor. Corridor. C O R R I D O R. This word has a homonym. Your word is Wales. It is a geogra geographical entry, and it means a country in southwestern Great Britain. Your word is Wales. Wales. W-A-L-E-S. Wales. Your word is cardigan. Cardigan. C A R. D I G A N, cardigan. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is Sudoku. It is a noun and it means a logic puzzle in which a grid must be filled in with numbers in such a way that every row, column, and subsection contains each of the numerals one through nine only once. Your word is Sudoku. Sudoku. S U D O K U. Sudoku. Your word is instinctive. <coughs> Sorry. That's all right. Um, instinctive. I N S T I N C T. Sorry, could I restart? Okay. Um. Uh, instinctive. I N S T I N C T I V E. Instinctive. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is ransacked. It is a verb and it means looked very thoroughly and zealously through, searched often forcefully or roughly, rummaged. Your word is ransacked. Ransacked, R-A-N-S-A-C-K-E-D, ransacked. Your word is trodden. Can I have the definition, please? Pressed down by walking or stamping upon something. Trodden. Can I have the definition? Or, sorry, can I have it in a word or in a sentence? Yeah, for sure. The wild horses had trodden 
over the fields, flattening the tall grass and weeds. Your word is trodden. Uh, can you repeat the word once more? Trodden. Trodden. T R O D E N. Trodden. Your word is swankiest. Swankiest. S W A N K I E S T. Swankiest. Your word is reflexology. Can you say the word in a sentence? Kenny manages his arthritis pain with medication from his doctor, low impact exercise, and reflexology. Reflexology. R E F L E X O L O G Y. Reflexology. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is convictions. It's a plural noun, and it means strongly held beliefs or views. Your word is convictions. Could you use the word in a sentence? <clears throat> Denise refuses to abandon her convictions based on what the journalists are reporting. Convictions. Thank you. Convictions. C O N. V I C T I O N S convictions. Okay, guys, why don't we uh, just pause here for second just to get a little break? All right, your word is discriminating. Discriminating. D-I-S-C-R-I-M-I-N-A-T-I-N-G. You are correct. The following word has two correct spellings. Either one of the two spellings will be accepted as correct. You only need to provide us one correct spelling. Okay. So your word is pulverized. Pulverized. P-U-L-V-E-R-I-Z-E-D. Pulverized. Your word is morbidity. <laughs> morbidity. Can I have the word in a sentence? Sure. Jen's morbidity 
is controlled by a modified diet, increased exercise, and routine care from her physician. Your word is morbidity. Morbidity. M O R B I D I T Y. Morbidity. Your word is lineage. Could you use it in a sentence? Manuel can trace his lineage to two passengers on the Mayflower. Actually, let's hold for a second. Should I switch back down? Let's try that again. Your word is lineage. Um, could you use it in a sentence again? Sorry. Sure. Manuel can trace his lineage to two passengers on the Mayflower. Lineage. Thank you. Um, lineage. L-I-N-E-A-G-E. -E, lineage. You are correct. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is drudgery. It is a noun, and it means dull, fatiguing, and unrelieved work or expenditure of effort. Your word is drudgery. Drudgery. Um, D-R-U, D-G, E-R, L Y. Wait, can I restart? D D R U D G E R Y. This word has a homonym. Your word is intolerance. It is a noun and it means exceptional sensitivity to a drug food, or other substance. Your word is intolerance. Intolerance. I-N-T-O-L-E-R-A-N-C-E. -E. Intolerance. Your word is motley. Motley. M O T. L E Y, Motley. This word has a homonym. Your word is permanence. It is a noun and it means the quality or state of being without fundamental or marked change, durability. Your word is permanence. Could you use it on a sentence? The costume designer always uses the same brand of dye because of the vivid colors it produces and its permanence on fabrics. Your word is permanence. Permanence. P-E-R-M-A-N-E-N-C-E. -E -E. Permanence. Your word is abdomen. Can you use it in a sentence? Clara's workout includes exercises to strengthen the muscles of her abdomen. Abdomen. A B D O M E N. Abdomen. This word has a homonym. Your word is cocoon. It is a noun, and it, is, it means the envelope often composed largely of silk, which the larvae of many insects form about themselves previous, previous to changing to a pupa and in which they pass the pupa stage. Your word is cocoon. Cocoon. C-O-C-O-O-N. Cocoon. This word has a homonym. Your word is 
Korea. It is a geograph geographical entry, and it's a peninsula 600 miles long and 135 miles wide in Eastern Asia between the Yellow Sea and the East Sea, Sea of Japan, with the strait of the same name to the south and China to the north. Your word is Korea. Korea. K-O-R-E-A. Korea. You are correct. Your word is mystified. Mystified. M-Y-S-T-I-F-I-E-D. Mystified. Correct. Your word is ensnarement. Can you read the next sentence? Thomas's ensnarement was assured when the puppy star stared meaningfully into his eyes and gave him a soft lick on the hand. Your word is ensnarement. Ensnarement. E N S N A R E N E N. Here's another one that has two correct spellings. Either one is fine. Makes it easier for me. Okay. <laughs> Your word is demeanor. Demeanor. D-E-M-E-A-N-O-R. Demeanor. Your word is appeasement. The, word in a sentence. the most notorious historical example of appeasement is the Munich Agreement, where British Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain accepted Nazi Germany's annexation of the Sudetenland. Your word is appeasement. Appeasement. A P P E A S E M E N T. Appeasement. Your word is Singapore. Can you repeat the word? Singapore. Can you give me a definition? Island of the Malay Archipelago in the South China Sea off the southern end of the Malay Peninsula. Your word is Singapore. Singapore. S-I-N-G-A-P. O R E Singapore. Your word is referral. Can you read the next sentence? I'm going to make one up because this will work. Okay. You do not want to get a referral in Mrs. Connell's office for doing something bad. The word is referral. Referral. R E F E R R A L. You are correct. This word has a homonym. Your word is aerials. It is a plural noun and it means usually metallic devices such as rods, wires, or arrangements of wires for radiating or receiving radio waves. Antennas. Your word is aerials. Aerials. A-E-R-I-A-L-S. Aerials. You are correct. Your word is transept. Transept. T R A N. F E P T transept. You are correct. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is aversion. It is a noun and it means a firmly settled and vehement dislike, antipathy, 
used usually with to, for, or from. Your word is aversion. Aversion. A V E R S I O N. Aversion. Your word is prioress. Can you use it in a sentence? Freddie recently read a book about a prioress who celebrated the opening of a new chapel with her community. Your word is prioress. Prioress. P R I O R O U S. Your word is brocade. Brocade? Uh, could you use it in a sentence? Tina discovered a generous brocade in the remnant bin at the fabric store. Your word is brocade. Brocade. B-R-O-C-A-D-E. Brocade. Your word is perdition. Overly, overly remorseful for his minor wrongdoings, Callum felt sure of perdition. Perdition. P E R D I T I O N. Perdition. Your word is fortuitous. Can I get a definition? Lucky. Your word is fortuitous. Okay. Um, fortuitous. Fortuitous. F-O-R-T-U-I-T-O-U-S. Fortuitous. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is adduced. It is a verb and it means brought forward or presented for consideration in a discussion, analysis, or contention. Your word is adduced. Adduced. A D D U C E D. Adduced. Your word is coronation. Coronation. C O R O N A T I O N. Coronation. Your word, uh, I'm sorry, your, this word has a near homonym. Your word is pallid. It is an adjective and it means lacking the normal amount of color Wayne used especially of the human countenance in illness. Your word is pallid. Pallid. P A L L I D. Pallid. This word has a homonym. Your word is throws. It is a plural noun and it means the struggles, anguish, disorder, or confusion characteristic of a transitional period as the active phrase of creation of some new thing. Your word is throws. Uh, definite, uh, it's a noun, right? Plural noun. Okay. Throws. T-H-R-O-E-S. Throws. Your word is mop it. M O P P E T Moppet. Your word is padre. Can I get a definition? A military chaplain. Your word is padre. Can you use it in a sentence? As a padre in the British Army, 
Henry discourages the unit from addressing him as sir because he is outside the chain of command for his unit. Your word is padre. Padre. P-A-D-R-E. Padre. Your word is renal. Renal. R-E-N-A-L. Renal. Your word is congealing. Congealing. C-O-N-G-E-A-L-I-N-G. Congealing. The following word has two correct spellings. Either one of the spellings will be accepted as correct. Your word is kimchi. Kimchi. K-I-M-C-H-I. Kimchi. Your word is chaplain. Chaplain. C-H-A-P-L-A-I-N. Chaplain. Your word is rhetorical. Rhetorical. R H E T O R I C A L. Rhetorical. Your word is resinous. What is the definition? Of or relating to a luster of certain minerals and rocks as seraphilite pitchstone that on a fractured surface have the appearance of any of various hard, brittle, solid to soft, semi-solid, amorphous, fusible, flammable substances that are usually transparent or translucent and yellowish to brown in color with a characteristic luster. Your word is resinous. Resinous. R E S I N O U S. Resinous. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is heirloom. It is a noun and it means something having special monetary or sentimental value or significance that is handed on either by or apart from formal inheritance from one generation to another. Your word is heirloom. Heirloom. H-E-I-R-L-O-O-M. Heirloom. This word has a homonym. Your word is humus. It is a noun, and it means a brown or black complex and varying material formed by the partial decomposition of vegetable or animal matter, the organic portion of soil. Your word is humus. Humus. H-U-M-U-S. Humus. This word has a homonym. Your word is mean. It is a noun, and it's the air or bearing of a person, especially as expressive of mood or personality. Your word is mean. Can I get the origin? This word is from an originally Latin word that went through French before becoming English. Your word is mean. Mean. M-I-E-N. Mean. Your word is Cantonese. Cantonese. C-A-N-T-O-N-E-S-E. -E, Cantonese. Your word is poultice. Poultice. P-O-U-L-T-I-C-E. Poultice.
Your word is conurbation. Conurbation. C O N U R B A T I O N conurbation. Your word is refractory. Could you repeat that? Refectory. Uh, definition? A dining hall, especially a dining hall in a monastery, convent, or religious college. Your word is refectory. Refectory. R-E-F-E-C-T-O-R-Y. Refectory. Your word is plastering. Plastering. P-L-A-S-T-R-O-N. Plastering. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is Kaddish. It is a noun and it means an ancient Jewish mourner's prayer recited daily at public services during the first 11 months after the death of a parent or other close relative and on subsequent anniversaries of the death. Your word is Kaddish. Kaddish. K-A-D-D-I-S-H. Kaddish. Your word is hawsers. Hawsers. H A W S E R S. Hawsers. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is coracle. It is a noun and it's a small boat made by covering a wicker frame with hide or leather. Your word is coracle. Coracle. C O R A C L E Coracle. Last one. This word has a homonym. Your word is Albion. It is a noun and it means Great Britain or England. Your word is Albion. Albion. Could I get um, a sentence for that? Sure. The term Albion can be translated as white land, and the Romans explained it as referring to the color of the chalk cliffs of Dover. Your word is Albion. Albion. A L B I O N. Albion. Your word is Dorsey. Uh, uh, what's the definition? A pump type shoe or slipper made with the heel section curving to meet the toe section at the narrow part of the sole beneath the instep. Your word is Dorsey. Uh, language of origin? It's a French name. Dorsey. D-O-R-S-A-Y. Dorsey. Your word is Montmorency. Montmorency. M-O-N-T-M-O-R-E-N-C-Y. Montmorency. This word has a homonym. Your word is Ducats. It is a plural noun and it means gold coins of European countries copied from a silver coin issued by Roger II, Count of Sicily, about 1150, 20th century issues of which include a coin of Austria issued from 1901 to 1915. Your word is ducats. Um, can I get the origin? This word went from Latin to Greek to Italian to French 
to English. Ducats. Uh, ducats. D U C A T S. Ducats. You are correct. All right, here's another one with two correct spellings. You know the drill. Your word is Arapaho. Arapaho. A R A P A H O. Arapaho. You are correct. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is Derek. It is a noun and it means the framework or tower over a deep drill hole as that of an oil well for supporting the tackle, for boring, or for hoisting and lowering. Your word is Derek. Derek. D E R R I C K. Derek. You are correct. Your word is Quasimodo. Quasimodo. Q U A S I M O D O. Quasimodo. You are correct. Your word is Carlisle. Carlisle. C A R L I S L E. Carlisle. Your word is bivouac. Bivouac. B I V O U A C. Bivouac. You are correct. This word has a homonym. Your word is Jane's. It is a plural noun, and it's adherence of a religion of India characterized by the personal ideal of the liberated soul worked toward through usually numerous lives in the pursuit of right knowledge, right faith, and right conduct, including ahisma, the doctrine of refraining from the harming of others or the taking of life. Your word is Jane's. Jane's. J-A-I-N-S. Jane's. You are correct. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is ziggurat. It is a noun, and it means an ancient Babylonian temple tower consisting of a lofty pyramidal structure built in successive stepped-back stages with outside staircases and a shrine at the top. Your word is ziggurat. Ziggurat. Z-I-G-G-U-R-A-T. Ziggurat. Please listen carefully as I provide additional information about your word. This word is a compound entry. You are responsible for spelling all parts of the word entry. Your word is Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur. Y-O-M-K-I-P-P-U-R. Yom Kippur. You are correct. This word has a homonym. Your word is alley. It is a noun, and it means a walk or path between two rows of formerly planted trees or shrubs that are at least twice as high as the width of the walk or path. Your word is alley. Can I get the etymology? It is a word from Latin-derived French, alley. Alley. A-L-L-E-E, -E, alley. Your word is Edinburgh. Edinburgh. E D I N B U R G H. Edinburgh. You are correct. Your word is Lindsay Walsey. Lindsay Walsey. L I N S E Y. W O O L S E Y. Lindsay Walsy. You are correct.
Your word is Vespaden. Can I get the etymology? The word is a German geographical name. The word is Vespaden. Thank you. Vespaden. W I E S B A D E N. Vespaden. You are correct. Your word is just a coup. And it, I'm sorry, the word has a homonym. Your word is just a coup. It's a noun and it means a fitted coat or jacket, specifically a man's knee length coat with flaring and stiffened skirts worn in the late 17th and early 18th centuries. Your word is just a coup. Just a coup. J U S T A U C O R P S. Just a coup. Okay. Spellers, we have reached the portion of the competition where we are moving into a different section of the list. The words leading up to now were studied as part of the school spelling bee study list. The source for the remaining rounds will be Merriam-Webster unabridged. Although the next section of words might sound less difficult, you have not had the opportunity to study this list of words prior to today's competition. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is gawking. It is a verb and it means looking without intelligent awareness, gaping or staring stupidly, often used with at. Your word is gawking. Gawking. G 
G-O-C-K-I-N-G. I'm sorry, Joshua, that is incorrect. You did a wonderful job. Okay. This word has a near homonym. Your word is tresses. It's a plural noun, and it means lawn, locks of hair, especially the lawn, unbound hair of a woman. The word is tresses. Uh, could I get an etymology? The words came to English from French, tresses. Could I get a sentence with it? Anya's tresses reach nearly to her waist. Your word is tresses. Tresses. T-R-E-S-S-E-S. -S -S. Tresses. You are correct. Your word is employment. Employment. E-M-P-L-O-Y-M-E-N-T. Employment. You are correct. Your word is demise. Can I get um, a definition? Discontinuance or secession of activity or operation. Your word is demise. Can you use it in a sentence? Jeannie mourned the demise of her family's favorite restaurant. Demise. Demise. D-E-M-I-S-E. -E, demise. This word has a homonym. Your word is burly. It is an adjective and it means strongly built, stout, sturdy. Your word is burly. Burly. B U R L Y. Burly. Your word is hostage. Hostage. H O S T A. G E hostage. You Your word is diagonal. Diagonal. D I A G O N A L. Diagonal. You Your word is identity. Identity. I D E N T I T Y. Identity. Your word is lethal. Lethal. L E T H A L. Lethal. You are correct. Your word is retirees. Retirees. Um, could I get a definition? Persons who withdrew, sorry, persons who withdraw from office, public station, business, occupation, or active duty. Your word is retirees. Retirees. Wait, it's, it's plural, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, retirees. Um, R-E-T-I-R-E-E-S, retirees. This word can be confused with a similar word. Your word is desperate. It is an adjective, and it means arising from or indicative of extreme need or pressure of circumstance. Your word is desperate. Desperate. D-E-S-P-E-R-A-T-E. -E -E. Desperate. This word has a homonym. Your word is independence. It is a noun, and it means the quality or state of being not subject to control by others, freedom, liberty. Your word is independence. Can you uh, say a sentence? The island nation celebrated its 20th year of political independence. Okay. Independence. I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D. -E Sorry, can I restart? Okay. Independence. 
I N D E P E N D E N C E independence. Your word is astroturf. Astroturf. A S T R O T U R F. Astroturf. Your word is announcements. Announcements. A N N O U N C E N E N T S. Announcements. Your word is atonal. Uh, could I have the definition? Characterized by avoidance of a traditional principle of organizing all the pitches and chords of a piece of music in relation to one pitch. Your word is atonal. Atonal. A T O N A L. Atonal. Your word is habitat. Habitat. H A B I. T A T habitat. Your word is appliances. Appliances. A P P L I A N C E S. Appliances. Your word is inferior. Inferior. I N F E R. I O R inferior. Your word is affiliation. Affiliation. A F F I L I A T I O N. Affiliation. Your word is elephant. Elephant. E L E P H A N T. Elephant. Your word is lyrically. Uh, could I have the definition? In a manner characterized by or expressive of direct, usually intense or personal, personal emotion. Your word is lyrically. Could you use it in a sentence? The soprano saying lyrically of her newfound love. Lyrically. L-Y-R-I-C-A-L-L-Y. Lyrically. Your word is benefit. Benefit. B E N E F I T. Benefit. Your word is introspection. Oh, could I have the definition? The examination of one's own thought and feeling, a looking into oneself, self examination. Your word is introspection. Introspection, I-N-T-R-O-S-P-E-C-T-I-O-N, introspection. This word has a near homonym. The word is lentil. It is a noun, and it means the seed of a widely cultivated Eurasian annual plant grown for its flattened seeds that are cooked like peas or beans and are ground into a meal. Your word is lentil. Lentil. L-E-N-T-I-L. Lentil. Your word is lavatory. Laboratory. L, wait, hold on, sorry. Could I get the definition? A room with conveniences for washing the hands and face and usually with one or more toilets. Your word is lavatory. Uh, could you repeat the word again? Lavatory. Could I have it in a sentence? All of the soap dispensers in the lavatory were empty. Lavatory. L-A-V-A-T-O-R-Y. Lavatory. Your word is 
extraterrestrial. Okay. <laughs> extraterrestrial. Um, e x t r a t e r r e s t r i a l. Extraterrestrial. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is bolster. It is a noun, and it means a lawn pillow or cushion that is used to support the head of a person lying on a bed and that usually extends across the bed and is placed under the pillows and often under the sheets. Your word is bolster. Bolster. B-O-L-S-T-E-R. Bolster. Your word is category. Category. C-A-T-E-G-O-R-Y. Category. You are correct. Your word is certificate. Certificate. C-E-R-T-I-F-I-C-A-T-E. -E. Certificate. Your word is interval. Interval. I-N-T-E-R-V-A-L, interval. Correct. Your word is prolific. Prolific. P-R-O-L-I-F-I-C, prolific. You are correct. This word has a near homonym. The word is pastor. It is a noun and it means a member of the clergy serving a local church or parish. The word is pastor. Pastor. Um, could, I, could you use it in a sentence? Kloss serves as a pastor of a hundred-year-old church in a quiet village. The word is pastor. Pastor. P-A-S-T. E U R pastor. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is parole. It's a noun, and it means a conditional and revocable release of a prisoner serving an indeterminate or unexpired sentence in a penal or correctional institution. The word is parole. Parole. P-A-R-O-L-E. Parole. me. 